I'm gonna explain about all the Lotus locations that you have to know to make all the kind of buffs you need for PvP. So at the start, Golden Lotus is of course in Volcano, Frost Lotus is on Frozen Bridge, Crimson Lotus is on Mount of the Dead, and Purple Lotus on the Jungle. So if you want to know about all the buffs that you have to know on PvP, make sure you be with us till the end of the video. hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial video with dark cat in this video i bring all the buffs everything you need to use for pvp and where to find them how to make them and why they are good that you need to use them okay at the start i need to explain what kind of buffs you need to use that gives you all the attribute buffs that you need to have in pvp for example you need to use uh, this for example you don't need the exit of might for damage because you can uh, combine a purple lotus with something else that gives you that attributes buff so i'm gonna explain which buff you need at the start you need crimson lotus one agility one survival encumbrance golden and purple if you use one of these each buff you can get all the buffs so i'm gonna use it right now i use one each and on the left side of the screen you can see I get all the buffs I needed and I only don't have accuracy because I'm not an archer so I don't need accuracy so I'm gonna explain all the buffs and the location for a start I'm gonna explain how to make this buff so all you need to have and to do is to have alchemical base and glass flask is easy so for this crimson and for this stuff you need all the lutuses you need is this four kind of lutus so one is crimson frost lotus golden and purple how to find them and where is the best location to farm them so for the start i'm going to show in the map is on volcano volcano is the best place to farm and the only place to farm the golden lotus and crimson lotus you're going to find it on mount of the dead frost lotus you find in the passage on around the frozen bridge and purple lotus you're going to find it on the jungle so i'm going to jump on each spot and show you some locations that where you're going to find them and let's jump on the first one on the volcano so around the volcano you're gonna find some yellow flowers like this that uh, of course they are like lotuses so if you heat them you're gonna farm golden lotus so it's many spots in volcano you can run around and find them there is not many like uh, locations that you need to know maybe you ask which kind of tool you're gonna use to get the best amount of lotuses so i'm gonna use all tools that show you for lotuses you don't need to use any kind of a special tool you can use it with pickaxe i got 21 you can use with pick i got 20 and you can use a sickle and it's got, it's almost giving you the same amount of uh, lotus 20 so the best was pickaxe give me one more lotus so don't worry about the tools that you're gonna use to farm the lotuses okay we're jumping on mount of the dead to find some crimson lotus is all around these uh, rocks these lotuses with the red flowers okay now we are around the frozen bridge that you're gonna find this frozen lotus around the frozen bridge with blue color and we are here in the last location around this big tree in the north jungle that you can farm a lot of purple lotus located here around this uh, little island here so you're gonna find a lot of purple lotus here this lotus with the purple flower so it was all the location about lotuses how to farm them and where is the locations to farm them so when you get all this lotus all you need to do is to grind purple lotus crimson and frost lotus but do not grind the golden lotus because you don't need to grind them in grinder you're gonna keep the golden lotus completely like the flower in the alchemist then you can make all these buffs when you grind all those lotuses okay the next buff people adding and using next to this uh, general buffs that i show you is some buffs from religion for example this exir of freedom so why people using this amount of extra buffs from religion because it can help you to have extra attributes for example this exir of freedom gonna gives you extra 20 stamina so i'm gonna test it now i have 199 stamina i'm gonna use one exir of freedom and now i have 219 
stamina so extra 20 stamina for one hour is a big difference on pvp especially stamina so make sure you also use this exir by farming humans with the their keto religion next extra buff that people using in fight especially for archer build is hunter potion so why people using this jebal psych potion is hunter potion because this exir can give you five accuracy so it's big difference on fights you can have on archer build plus five accuracy can help you a lot to open different and uh, more perks on accuracy make sure you don't miss farming this if you're going to play archer okay, we have two last extra buff that people might use or might not use in the fights it can help you to get extra points but i don't recommend this because it's maybe become grindy for if you're playing solo or do if you're playing on small clans because farming this mitra this ambrosia in mitra religion and this purified flesh on yag religion it can be very grindy for you to farm humans constantly uh, constantly during day and use them only for 10 minutes so these two kind of buff ambrosia and purified flesh is only last long for 10 minutes so that's why i don't recommend it if it was for one hour like all any other buff it can be good but only for 10 minutes i don't recommend to use it but i for me it was to explain you if some people need to use they can use this so at the end the last part of the buffs you cannot uh, i don't know use war pain as a buff can be considered as a buff it gives you plus three extra points on any you can have it vitality you can have it on a strain and uh, agility accuracy you can use war pain on any kind so that was it guys for our video about tutorial for any kind of buff you need to use there is no other buff that it can help you on pvp it was all the buff you had to use for pvp so i hope you guys enjoyed the video about the buffs if i miss anything make sure you put down in the blue in comments i will watch it and answer it in a short amount of time thank you guys for watching if you are still not subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe it will help me a lot and help you to don't miss any other content from conan exile thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video